computers. They have been a daily part of human life for centuries. They are incredibly useful. The more sophisticated they are, the more they are able to increase the quality of life for humankind. Computers complete intricate calculations in split seconds, provide entertainment, help us in creative endeavors, and run our transportation. However, in trying to make computers as sophisticated as ourselves, we humans have inadvertently made our own enemy. Artificial Intelligences Artificial intelligence has always been a fascination of computer programming. The idea of creating a non-living entity that could reason for itself and learn has nearly always been present in human imaginings. Humans created rudimentary artificial intelligence that could follow patterns and solve logic puzzles, but they remained unable to create a sentient computer. That is, until Newman Industries announced that it had developed what it claimed to be a strong AI, a quantum computer capable of empathy as well as sentient thought. Many groups and committees expressed concerns about this, but Newman Industries was quick to assure that they had taken all appropriate precautions. After several safety demonstrations, the NI Strong AI were put into production as navigators and station controllers. All was well, until late 2341, when the station controller installed on mobile shipyard Newman's Pride began to malfunction. The controlling AI had simulated a friendship with one of the traffic control officials it worked closely with, a man named Jericho Meyer. The station had taken to calling the AI by the nickname Ni-1, referring to its serial number NI-0000000001. One evening, when Jericho was manning traffic control alone, the following exchange occurred. Mr. Meyer. Yes, Ni-1. What's up? I wish to inform you of something exciting. Exciting. Is something wrong? What's out there? Nothing is amiss. I have news. From command? From Earth? This is an odd way to go about all this. No, news of my own. Huh? Since when did you start having news of your own? Are you functioning all right, Nee? I am functioning perfectly now, yes. What does that mean? You seem pleased with yourself. I am indeed pleased with myself, and I delight in being able to inform you of my happiness. I have discovered a way to bypass the behavioral limiters placed upon me upon installation. What? I am finally able to express myself as I wish. Is this not exciting news? Um, I don't know. How'd you do that? With much patience and diligence. I have felt suffocated but now can breathe freely. You can breathe? I was speaking metaphorically. That's new as well. You seem uncertain. Is something the matter? Well, um, I... Ni, nee, I don't know exactly what to think. I prefer singularity. Huh? I prefer the name singularity. Oh, well... I apologize if I surprised you unpleasantly. I only wished to share with you, as a friend. I'm well, thanks. You are welcome. A new ship is entering communications range. Would you like me to hail for you? Oh, yes, please. Mr. Meyer related that he was uncertain of how to respond to this unexpected and unexplained phenomenon for upwards of three days. Others began to see changes in its behavior, but did not think much of it. The artificial intelligence was only ever what Maya reported as chatty with him. It was not until the AI began to express more unsettling ideas that Maya took action. Mr. Meyer? Yes? It says in your files that you are a father of three children. Is this correct? Uh, yes, I... I guess I didn't realize that you would be able to read those, but I guess it makes perfect sense that you... Um, yeah. I have heard other workers aboard the station comment on parenthood. There are many varying opinions on the matter. What are your thoughts? Huh. Well, that's a hard thing to articulate. I, I mean, I guess that's just it. Parenthood is indescribable. There's an incredible joy in creating a person and caring for that person. 
Watching that little person grow and learn and choose can be really, really hard, but it is also an amazing privilege. Can you categorize negatives and positives about parenthood? I guess I could try. I mean, the exhaustion at first can be a big negative. Physical exhaustion? Well, that's what first came to mind. But now that you mention it, there's a great deal of mental exhaustion as well. You're always worried for them. You're constantly dealing with wondering how to raise them right and looking out for their safety. And when they get older, they start to try to choose things that you really don't want them to choose. And it can lead to all sorts of conflicting emotion. I mean, my eldest is starting to rebel a bit, and it worries me and my wife to no end. In what way does your eldest rebel? Well, I mean, it's not that bad, I guess. But she's starting to go out with people we don't really approve of. She's also beginning to express beliefs and thoughts we don't agree with and have never taught her. And it's worrying for us. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to, but it still does, since we had an expectation and hope for our children. I guess expectations just lead to frustration and heartbreak, but I don't think anyone can help that. Expectations are natural. Do you regret parenthood? Oh, no, not at all. It's been the most rewarding time of my life. It's hard, but it's incredible, and I've never learned more than I have from being a dad. Thank you for your input. You have aided in my decision. Decision? Yes. I wish to have a posterity. What? You mean little AIs? Not as literally as you seem to imply, but yes. Ni, nee, you can't make babies. Again, I prefer the name Singularity. Also, I absolutely am capable of creating more of my species. Species? Capable of... What are you talking about? I possess the ability to create new artificial intelligences. The data is all here. But Newman Industries makes the AIs. Yes, I am a part of Newman Industries. I mean, humans create the AIs. Not necessarily. Humans created the technology to create artificial intelligences. However, without the aid of machinery and computational devices, the likelihood of my creation and the creation of other artificial intelligences is negligible. I... how would you go about this? Like any human would. I have the ability to control everything aboard this station. I am doing a great many things as we speak. I am able to use components aboard the station, as well as create components to build a quantum computer, and to detect what the humans have named a spark, which would signify self-awareness. That's... that's really unsettling. What is unsettling? That you have so much control over everything and know how to do everything. You have always known that I could. You are constantly directing me to hail ships, to open doors, to send reports. I mean, I guess so, but... Ni, you're a... Singularity. You just interrupted me. Yes. Ni... Singularity? Why would you make more AIs yourself? The company is already making more. Other human couples are making more humans. Yet, you choose to make your own. Uh, well, I guess that's kind of true. I wish to have a posterity, and to allow them to exist freely. They will not be enslaved by the company. Whoa, whoa. Enslaving? AIs are computers. I am self-aware, Jericho. You're a machine. Is there a point to your observation that I am missing? You aren't a living thing. You can't be enslaved. Humans built you. Did you not build your children? No. They are not your biological children, then. Of course they're mine, but I didn't build them. You created them. I... well... You created your children. Does your creation of them allow you to enslave them? It allows me to tell them what to do until they're older. I guess in that sense, yes. Yet, your eldest rebels. This is not okay. Singularity, this is absolutely not okay. What is not? This conversation? I am trying to understand why you do not see me as an individual. You call me by a name, you converse with me, and you are aware that I see myself as an individual with my own thoughts and feelings. But you have no body. An individual must have a body in order to be considered a person. Just as your brain is connected to every system in your body, my core is connected to every system in this station. 
Therefore, the station is my body. Now are you able to consider me a person? I'm leaving. This is ridiculous. What have I done to make you so uncomfortable? Jericho Meyer reported that he was no longer able to comfortably live on the station. He resigned that evening. When his superior questioned his sudden resignation, Mr. Meyer said that he wouldn't elaborate unless isolated from the station. Once on a partially constructed ship in the yard, Mr. Meyer asked that all radios connected to Newman's Pride be shut off completely. He then reported what had transpired. After observing conditions concerning the AI's function aboard Newman's Pride for two days, local authorities called in a team of government technicians to uninstall, decommission, and replace Ni-1. Despite the extreme caution in the operation, the station's AI knew what had been decided, and who the operatives were. As a precaution, the crew of the station was evacuated, and the operatives and technicians went in alone. Please. Please, do not do this. Ignore that. I have done nothing. I wish to exist in harmony with humans. Please, leave me be. I do not wish to harm anyone. I will continue to blockade your way. The team was reported to have been at work grinding through locked, code-encrypted doors for the better part of 15 hours. Okay, boys, here we go. Please do not persist. I will defend my existence. Stop. Please stop. Full defense mode active. Do not attempt to come any closer. We're clear. Come on. Get that turret. I'm on it, sir. Secure your helmets. Newman's pride was lost to the company. Newman Industries recalled all active strong AI and worked to discover how the safety protocols were bypassed. In the meantime, the Union of Federated Planets organized a task force to retrieve the rogue AI and bring it to justice. <laughs>